Nintendo's next 1987 release, Volleyball, is the only game in the black box set to include a golden yellow logo. Unfortunately, that might be all I have to say about this sad, sad game. We've already taken a look at Pro Wrestling, a title that brought the black boxes into the next era of the NES. Through its upgraded graphics and gameplay, it was quality enough to keep Nintendo relevant even with the competition from third parties. Volleyball took a step backwards from this seemingly positive change. Volleyball wasn't developed in-house, but was instead outsourced to Pax Sofnica. This is no excuse for the game's poor quality, though. Pax Sofnica was considered a second-party developer for some time, working very closely with Nintendo for several years. They developed and helped with many other titles for their consoles, including Balloon Kid for the Game Boy and helping with Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. Volleyball was one of the first games that they made in tandem with Nintendo, and based on its quality, I'm surprised they decided to continue their relationship. Visually, Volleyball is a sizable step back from pro wrestling. The sprites are hardly as detailed and have this somewhat hypnotic, undulating idol animation. In line with the other games in the sports series, there are several male and female teams available to the player, some of which are quite eclectic, including Tunisia, the USSR, Cuba, and Brazil. The manual ranks team strengths for the CPU. The USSR is the hardest difficulty level, followed by China, and so on. Not like this really matters. Upon starting a game, it becomes clear that you'll never actually score a point. Similar to soccer and 10-yard fight, volleyball lets the computer determine the playable sprite. This is the Olympic version of the sport, meaning that there are six players per side. Leaving the task of control up to the computer shouldn't be too much of an issue. Soccer did it successfully in 1985, two years prior, and yet, in volleyball, it is. Its controls fall apart instantly. It's nearly impossible to tell which character you have control over at any given time, essentially making the rest of the gameplay moot. There are some really cool looking moves according to the manual, like double spiking and fainting, but I couldn't actually experience any of them as I couldn't tell which of my players would be executing them. Volleyball also suffers from a similar timing issue to tennis and baseball. The timing of button presses has to be extremely precise in order to register a hit, even more precise than other sports titles. For the games to be successful on a button-based interface, having more lenient presses is a must, and once again volleyball falls short. At this point, it's clear that Nintendo was scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of sports titles. Why they attempted to adapt Olympic volleyball, an already complex sport, into an NES game is beyond me. Luckily, volleyball wasn't the only volleyball game made for the NES. Konami's home console port of the EA-developed computer game, Kings of the Beach, came out in 1989, and 1990 saw the release of Super Spike Volleyball, developed by Technos and published by Nintendo. These games fixed nearly all of the issues of its predecessor by simplifying the interface. Instead of simulating Olympic Volleyball, they converted the much simpler two-on-two -two beach volleyball into the video game format. At least in the short term, almost every volleyball game that followed would give up on the Olympic rule set. Beach Volleyball was both easier to program and more recognizable to the average person, making it a win-win for game studios. This isn't to say that nobody tackled the Olympic version. The Sega Master System's Great Volleyball was a solid example of this format done right, even if it was overshadowed by the NES at the time of its release. Nintendo ended up porting Volleyball to the Wii Virtual Console in 2007, but it hasn't been shown much love since. Remember how I keep talking about Wii Sports in the impact sections of the sports series games? Well, Volleyball might have gotten a callback with Switch Sports, the Switch evolution of Wii Sports. But it's probably not inspired by the NES title at all, as the only thing that it actually had in common was the name of the game. It just added motion controls and was overall completely different. However, it's very difficult to talk about the impact of a game that was so awful for its time that it was quickly outclassed by every attempt that followed. This also is probably the shortest section of my entire project, and I'm not going to extend it any longer than necessary. Volleyball was bad. It was a step backwards in terms of game design, controls, and graphics, and it won't be missed. The end.